Welcome back to this last part of the tutorial where I am going to show you how I'm going to add the color a little bit and have the outside in a darker color of the of the the outside of the trench coat and the inside leave it as it is the lighter color of the trench coat. Uh, to do that I am going to make use of uh, the UV texture and I since I haven't uploaded it I'm going to add it to a local file so I go local, I edit and I have here the TT UV texture map uh, it comes with most of my sculpts and if you don't have it and it is not in my free tutorial I will make absolutely sure that it is going to be available for all group members so OK and this looks a bit like the old game we had in the, when we were kids was color by number we have here the grid projected on the sculpts and you can see here C1, D1 and D8, C8 so you can see that it has exactly um, that grid that is here D1, D2 and C1 and D8 here in this corner I'm going to drag on this one that textured model that I already had and I use overlay or multiply to see what the difference differences are so that is those are my shades and um, in the previous part you can see that um, I'm going to rasterize this one so it is easier to look at you see that uh, I had uh, made this whole underground of one color which is the the, well, the basic color uh, color but now I want to have two different colors so I'm going to have a look exactly where that darker color should be and if I look at this and maybe I should take off my hair for a second which is never making a, a lady more beautiful you can see it is the layers A and B all, of, all around the layers A and B that should be in a darker color so going back to Photoshop adding a layer here A and B here this part I'm going to select this part A and B and fill it up with any color it is okay I'm taking the standard colors and I will fill it up with white there and this one is going to get a pattern overlay and I'm going to use the darker color here and for the rest of the uh, for the rest of that color I was going to use the lighter color so again a pattern overlay but now using the lighter color so you can see that this part is getting more dark than the other part and if I'm going to save this one as a JPEG color here and I'm going back into Second Life and I'm going to use this one and local and I add it for a new just for you to see how it works I go to color there open and I choose this color and I say OK and now you will see that this part is the darker part than that part so it looks now more natural as if these two belong more to each other so this is how it works it works for all sculpted elements you can use sculpted elements like this belt end I'm going to show you uh, I select uh, edit link parts and I select the face of this belt end and I'm going to use local use the UV text texture map and you can exactly see if you get close enough here the same the same grid and you can just make a, a a shade or a fold and you can exactly see where in the grid it has to come because that is how you texture sculpted elements using this UV texture map so thank you for watching these were the three tutorials to make a, a line and uh, outfit and using the PNG files as a guide thank you for watching and uh, Happy building.